What a year it has been. As I sit here in an empty library at Rand in Santa Monica, normally a buzzing gathering space for our community, it's hard not to think back on this time last year. In the Office of Development, we started the new year gathering with friends and supporters across the country. We were building excitement for the launch of Tomorrow Demands Today, the largest fundraising campaign in Rand's history. We planned to publicly kick off the campaign with an in-person event in early March, but 2020 had other plans for all of us. On the onset of the COVID-19 crisis, as I struggled to make sense of what was happening, I found hope in Rand's rapid research response. Rand did not sit still. Our research did not stop. Rand researchers like Jennifer Bowie, the Tang Chair in China Policy Studies, began commenting on COVID-19 back in January and sharing her expertise as an epidemiologist. As researchers throughout RAND jumped into action, we mobilized to bring their research to you through our RAND remote event series. Our goal was to connect you to their work, their efforts to help strengthen communities, counter the effects of truth decay, rethink institutions, and catalyze problem solving, especially during this time. We heard our RAND researchers talk about COVID-19's toll on particularly vulnerable populations. When COVID started to hit the communities, particularly here in the U.S., you know, we right away knew that there were going to be some specific needs. You know, one of them is that we had a sense, and I think others did as well, that this would have some disproportionate impacts and not just on our older um, Americans, but on communities of color and other underserved populations. And so very early on, we wanted to leverage the work that we already have at RAND that are working with those populations and understand the impact on those neighborhoods. Our researchers addressed how leaders are making decisions. Well, they're uh, essentially in the fog of war. Um, they're putting out fires. Um, they don't have very much bandwidth. They're facing urgent decisions every day and in some cases may lack access to the expertise they need to sort through this information chaos. We learned the results from RAND's surveys to explore COVID-19's effects on American lives and livelihoods. In our survey and in others, women are consistently reporting that even when they and their spouse both work, they're the ones sharing or, or taking the majority of the burden of that increased childcare and homeschooling. Um, and that's likely, unfortunately, to set women's progress in the labor market back for, for many years to come. The party ran graduate school pivoted, not only to ensure a continuity of education, our students are working with communities to help them confront the pandemic. LA uh, Los Angeles Unified School District said, we need an easy way for our families to find the resources and support that they need. And so we did a rapid prototype. In two weeks, we developed a mapping program that allowed, it was an interactive uh, map that allowed LA uh, Unified School District families to find mental health resources, food support and the like. And that's up and running now. We shared with you RAND's efforts to advance racial equity policy and researchers discuss the disproportionate effects of COVID-19. One of the more nefarious things about the COVID-19 pandemic is how it really sort of disrupted the social contract that we have, um, you know, in this country in particular. And so certainly we've seen quite clearly that racial and ethnic minorities in the United States have borne the brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic experienced a disproportionate number of both illnesses and, and unfortunately deaths uh, in this particular country. But the other side of this is it's really revealed through the fragility um, within our communities. I mean, the idea that people are having to make decisions about, you know, do I go to work and risk becoming infected um, or do I stay at home and risk not being able to pay, you know, my rent this month? RAND experts talked about how the crisis is affecting trust in institutions and information. Trust matters in a lot of ways. I mean, if you think about not just the response to it, but the recovery from it, a lot of this is going to have to be based on trust, trusting that our public officials are making the right decision about opening things up or keeping things closed, trusting that we're getting good guidance about what's the right distance to stand apart and how can we protect ourselves and, and our friends and our family from the spread of this virus. Um, ultimately, people going back out into public life is going to be based on them feeling safe, 
um, and that requires that they trust that the government has the situation under control. So many months later, we're still learning and adapting. RAND Research is helping with recommendations on workplace wellness, teaching and learning during a pandemic, and election safety. We're also looking beyond the crisis. For example, examining the use of technologies like artificial intelligence and governance and what more RAND can do for the future. It'd be good as researchers at an independent think tank like RAND to be able to do more work that is not based on, on a specific agency, on a specific client, to be able to think more broadly about broader interventions, broader mechanisms, broader audit procedures for doing research on technology. And part of the whole point of, uh, of the campaign, the RAND campaign, is to give researchers more of a leeway to spend time thinking about these systemic issues, coming up with solutions. We need to be able to audit client systems, but at some point we need a group of smart, independent people to step back, look at the whole system and come up with better solutions. RAND will continue using rigorous research, applying innovative analysis and offering sophisticated expertise to build resilience and prepare for what lies ahead. While we remain apart now, I can't wait until we can be together in person to celebrate the strength of RAND, the power of research to make a difference, and all that we can accomplish with your continued support. As we look toward 2021, here's to standing strong, supporting each other, and working together today to build a better tomorrow.